not going nowhere. So here's a quick weather update. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, 62 degrees. Uh, summer has officially left us in Michigan. It's gonna start getting cold. What is up, you guys? Welcome back. Another video, a uh, short video. Uh, just gonna give you an update on the Explore. Last video I made, I believe, was um, me getting a hub bearing fix. Well, now the transmission has completely gone out. Completely. Uh, I made a video about this, I believe, in February with the transmission uh, shifting hard and slipping but now the transmission has finally finally gave up let me show you what i mean all right so here's reverse nothing i'm gonna go ahead and give him gas and it goes nowhere and drive nowhere rose a little bit because I'm on the incline, but nowhere. Reverse again. Nowhere. Yep, so the transmission is pretty much gone in this, and um, I know that these explorers are, and the story is for the transmissions going out. Um, so, went to a couple of shops, um, they priced me uh, in between seventeen hundred and twenty two hundred dollars, and which I think is a lot because I feel like with that type of money I can just use that for another car. But at the same time, you know, being me being the way I am, being cheap, I don't know if I want to have a car note. Uh, you know, cars are expensive nowadays, and you know I don't want to be paying no. 580 something dollars for a pickup truck not just yet anyway because uh i do have some plans but uh quick recap on what had happened um that clock is wrong by the way i was coming home from work and uh i was doing 45 miles an hour i was just getting off the freeway and all of a sudden my engine started to over rev i said what in the world so i pulled over on the side street and um i couldn't get it to go so i kept fooling with the gears and i managed to get it to go i had to manually shift from first second and third then for whatever reason first and second quit working so i had to use third gear to get all the way home which was very annoying but i made it home so I don't know. I mean, this truck, it's got 173,000 miles on it. I mean, I had it for years. I mean, it's my daily driver. I've driven it everywhere. You know, I got all my equipment and stuff in here. And I mean, it, it did its job. It lasts me 173,000 miles. But I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look around for more shops first before I decide to spend i mean twenty two hundred dollars is insane to be paying for a transmission and you know i could probably just i mean if i had a choice i'd do it myself put the transition man myself but uh you know when you got a kid and your family you tend to be too busy so i don't know i don't know uh comment below because originally i was gonna get a junkyard transmission had that put in but Comment below, is this truck worth keeping? And uh, if you can look in the previous videos, I mean, the body's in great condition. It's just this transmission. So comment below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for some updates because uh, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to have this towed at. And uh, I'm going to make a joint decision on whether or not if this, I mean, it is a winter beater. But I'm going to make a joint decision on whether or not if I should keep this. I mean, at the same time, like I said, I don't want to be paying no 580 for a pickup truck that I want. And, you know, being up here in Michigan, it's going to get towed up within three to four years. So uh, go ahead, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll keep you guys updated with more videos.